Thank you for joining today. My name is Joseph Pearson, and I'm happy to present a solution for exploring deeply curated single cell transcriptomic data to accelerate biomarker research. The products shown here are intended for molecular biology applications. These products are not intended for the diagnosis, prevention, or treatment of a disease. So OMICSOP's goal is to accelerate advances in biomarker and target discovery by helping scientists quickly explore curated data sets to answer questions about disease indications and biomarkers and to support deeper analyses across data sets so scientists can confirm hypotheses. OMICSOP does this by curating huge collections of disease relevant omics data currently at 580,000 samples, over 30 databases, and over 7,000 projects, providing access to these data through software and direct data access, such as APIs and text dumps. And this means that scientists don't have to spend valuable time searching for processing and curating data sets only to find that the data set wasn't as relevant as you thought. You can get right to the data exploration. Scientists can explore our huge repository to discover data sets relevant to their research, discover where their genes of interest are expressed across normal and disease samples. They can also explore mutation, copy number, gene dependency, and other multi-omic data, and discover where their genes are differently expressed, and then use this information and upload directly into IPA to compare against other curated data sets to expand your search. Now with OMICSOFT's single cell lens, we extend these capabilities to the single cell resolution. You can explore the broad collection of data in Oncoland and Diseaseland, discovering curated data sets relevant to your research, with over 580,000 samples to identify relevant tissues, indications, and biomarkers, and then dive deeper and refine your hypotheses by exploring our collection of deeply curated single cell projects. Use our controlled vocabularies and extensive curated metadata to find the most relevant data sets. Explore hundreds of manually curated cell types from these projects and visualize expression data within and across projects to clearly see exactly where your genes are expressed. Our in-depth curation process and data analysis pipelines allow scientists to ask in-depth questions, harnessing the power of deeply curated metadata and data to get answers. If you have an indication or a tissue or even a cell type of interest, you can use the detailed metadata to group and filter projects to find data sets that will, find, that will provide the answers you need. Then explore the pre-computed comparisons to quickly find differentially expressed genes for a curated cell type, and then validate these genes directly at the cell level, overlaying expression on the pre-computed dimension reduction plots. Or, if you have candidate biomarkers and you want to confirm exactly where they're expressed, you can quickly visualize gene expression across data sets or within data sets grouped on any curated metadata. Then identify curated cell clusters where your gene of interest is specifically upregulated or downregulated to understand its enrichment and specificity. And then of course, confirm this at the cell level. Now, most importantly, our curated single cell data sets include detailed manual cell cluster curation with specific cell types from our controlled vocabularies. This enables the user to start by exploring the breadth of disease coverage within disease land and oncoland to identify tissues and diseases and experiments expressing genes of interest. Then you can dive deeper into the specific cell types for those tissues within single cell lands to understand exactly which cells express these genes.
And this is just a small snapshot of the depth of manual curation of the cell types our curators have identified. As with all Omicsoft Lens, our curation priorities are driven by our users. Throughout 2021, we will continue to rapidly add new deeply curated projects, focusing on therapeutic areas like oncology, neurology, gastroenterology, dermatology, pulmonology, and more. The key guiding principle of the single cell land design is cross project exploration, which allows scientists to group, filter, and explore data across studies. This requires that our curation process is consistent with detailed controlled vocabularies like what we use in disease land and uncle land collections. We also use a consistent set of pipelines to reanalyze data from the raw files through cluster generation and identification. And finally, our framework stores the metadata in a logical hierarchy, allowing scientists to dynamically filter and group at any metadata level from the project level down to the cell cluster. And this allows scientists to explore data within individual curated projects or merge the data and explore across projects. Our single cell curation process is really an extension of the way that we curate data for Oncoland and disease land. This is an intensive process, but it's essential for in-depth and confident data analysis and interpretation. Starting with data set requests from our users, our curators check that their requested data are available, compatible with the platform, and of course that the publication provides enough information and enough detail to interpret the data. Our bioinformaticians then retrieve the data and confirm that the data are available and that the data submission has all the samples, it's complete, along with the barcodes and the UMI parsing information. Next, our curators curate the metadata from the data submission and publication, extracting the project, technical sample, and clinical metadata, applying our controlled vocabularies and curation cleanup standards. Our curators also identify expected results from the paper, such as clustering, expected cell types, and key differentially expressed marker genes. Meanwhile, our bioinformaticians align and quantify the data on a consistent set of pipelines, performing post-processing QC checks on the data. Then using guidance from the curator's information, they perform dimension reduction analysis and clustering analysis to define the cell clusters that best match the expected cell types for the project. They also run comparisons between the clusters to identify the differentially expressed genes, the markers for these clusters. And finally, our curators use this information from the bioinformaticians to manually inspect the clusters and the overexpressed genes and manually curate each individual cluster for the curated cell type. All of the curated data and metadata can be directly explored because they are organized hierarchically. Filter and group the data at any metadata at the project level, biological sample level, or even the curated cell cluster level, and use this to focus down on the cell level expression and differential expression analysis that is relevant to your research. And with this single cell land framework, we make it easy to query the data and the metadata to answer your biomarker questions to complement your discoveries within disease land and Oncoland. It's simple to get an overview of all of the available content within the single cell lens with our distribution views, exploring the data by research focus, tissue, disease, cell type, and more. The curated project, sample, and cluster metadata should be used to slice and dice the data to narrow down your search for relevant data sets. You can filter on any metadata, 
regroup the data in the plot, and then explore the curated details to know that you've found the relevant data for your research. Or you can dive right into the project details. You can visualize the cell level details with dimension reduction plots, filtering and labeling on any of the extensive metadata like cell type, tissue, disease, treatment status, age, and so forth. Compare similar projects to identify those with the samples and the cell types relevant to your research. With the carefully curated metadata, you can also plot the cell composition of each cluster, grouped on sample ID or any other metadata you're interested in. So you can look for the changes in cell prevalence and composition within samples or groups of samples. And this is really powerful for looking at shifts in curated cell populations between samples, like uh, between normal and disease, or before and after treatment to look for those changes in cell populations. Now, because our bioinformaticians compute full differential expression results between curated clusters, you can explore all of these data directly. Use our pre-computed comparisons between clusters along with the curated metadata to quickly identify genes that were up or down regulated in your cluster of interest. Compare these comparisons across projects with similar cell types to confirm gene markers and signatures that mark your cells of interest or contrast similar curated cell clusters within a project to identify subtle differences that might differentiate disease versus normal and so forth. You can see the distribution of gene expression within and across cell clusters and projects by just searching for a gene. Group and filter the cell clusters on any of the metadata to see the similarities and differences of expression across projects. Because of the consistent curation, you can be confident about the labels and the grouping. And so you can see where genes like EGFR are expressed across multiple tissues, across multiple projects and within specific curated cell types. You could also search for any gene and quickly see where your gene was upregulated or downregulated within the pre-computed statistical comparisons. And this is really great for confirming details of marker genes you might've found in the disease study in disease land or oncoland after you've found uh, candidate biomarkers for disease, treatment, etc. Within the differential expression bubble plot, identify the specific cell clusters where your gene is differentially expressed, helping you refine your hypotheses. And then explore the cell level details by overlaying your gene of interest expression across the dimension reduction plots and scroll through and explore and confirm the expression in cell types you knew, and maybe discover expression in cell types that you didn't expect. Use this to confirm the specificity of expression within a tissue or even between similar cell clusters with the same curated cell type to look for differences. And you can quickly flip between the expression and the deep curation of metadata on any metadata level to understand exactly where your gene is being expressed. You can search multiple genes to look for similarities and differences in expression, select the most specific markers and identify signatures that are upregulated in specific cell clusters. So you can search for multiple genes and look for the patterns of expression and specificity across these genes to look for those specific markers and those consistent signatures and confirm those signatures with differential expression, looking for patterns of up and down regulation that mark the specific cell types. And then use this information back in disease land or oncoland to identify indications that correspond to these expression patterns to accelerate your discovery. 
And the single cell lens should really be thought of the data hub, the starting place for deeply curated data. The whole design of the framework is to enable you to discover important data sets using Omicsoft's deep curation and analysis pipeline. With the staging of the data within the server, use the framework to explore the data with the summary visualizations to, uh, to identify the data sets and the biomarkers that are relevant, and then export the full results into Omicsoft Studio analysis projects for a deeper analysis. Or you can export selected genes of interest and the metadata columns for export within H5AD format, the open standard for intercompatibility, uh, for example, to display in a cell by gene browser or for uh, analysis and parsing in other popular open source packages. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your time.